Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for the Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today we're in After Diesel, where one of the ship's two emergency diesel generators is located. These generators could produce enough electrical power to restart the electrical pumps to start the steam cycle and get our regular steam turbines back online to provide main power. This is also the furthest aft we can go on seventh deck, the lowest deck on the ship, and the only compartment where you can see all four of the ship's propeller shafts. This is the number one propeller shaft fed from the number one engine room. It's the longest shaft on the ship, over 300 feet. It feeds an outboard, four-bladed, 18-foot diameter propeller. This is the number two propeller shaft, which is fed from engine room number three. It is one of the inboard, five-bladed, 17-foot diameter propellers. This is number three propeller shaft, fed from engine room number four. Notice how sailors would have to walk under these shafts when they were in rotation. Because they could be spinning up to 200 revolutions per minute, they have a candy striping painted on them so you know when they're in movement. This is the number four propeller shaft. It's fed from engine room number two. We're about to open engine room number two this spring for you to tour. Stay tuned for more details. My favorite feature in this space is the sailor art. The battleship has a number of pieces of sailor art which feature prominently in most of our guided tours. This one is not on any tour route. Interestingly, it's unfinished and you can probably see the pencil marks where they had planned out more to this painting. I believe it was being worked on when the ship was decommissioned for the last time and the crew just never had a chance to finish. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And check back every Friday for more content.